Hello, this is Hayden Reviews, and I have just watched The Flash, the 14th installment in the DCEU or the DC Extended Universe. This new Flash film is directed by Andy Muschietti, M Muschietti, sorry about that, who's primarily known for both Stephen King adaptations of It from 2017 and 2019. The film is approximately 2 hours and 24 minutes long, and it stars Ezra Miller, Michael Keaton, and Sasha Kaye. The film is primarily about Barry Allen, the Flash, who figures out a way to time travel and creates a flashpoint where he changes up the past and meets his old self and must change things to the way they were. So... There's a, a lots of controversial opinions about this film, and a lot of them say this roughly the same things. But this is my opinion on the film, and you can leave your own opinions down in the comments. But before we get into many of the more controversial stuff, let's start with the good aspects of the film. Now, I believe Ezra Miller, his previous performances in Justice League, both adaptations, the Joss Whedon and Zack Snyder versions... I, I was never the biggest fan of him. I really wasn't. But I must say, in this film, as the original Barry Allen, I I actually enjoyed his performance. And I know some people did not like his portrayal of the second one, but I didn't mind it that much. So I think Ezra Miller definitely improved his acting skill for this character. I mean, he has shown before he's a solid actor in Perks of Being a Wallflower, for example. But... He definitely gives his best performance as Barry Allen in this film. Another standout, of course, would be Michael Keaton. How could you not mention him? I mean, he's Batman returning again, and he nails it. He nailed it in 1989, he nailed it in 1992, and he nails it in 2023. He just does. Now, one of the more interesting performances I did not expect to like as much was Sasha Kaye as uh, Supergirl. I thought she did a fantastic job. The only downside with her is that she really isn't given much screen time throughout the film. Uh, another decent aspect of the film is that it's a fairly fun movie. It really is. There are some fun moments spread throughout, but overall, there's enough to keep light. And I know this may be an unpopular opinion, I know that, but I thoroughly enjoyed the second act of this film. Like, I thought the second act was by far the best act of the film. It's not even close. That had the most fun, the best acting, the best... The best everything was in the second act of the film. It really was. Now, that was primarily the good aspects of the film. And, of course, there's definitely bad ones... Let's start with the obvious. The visual effects were not good. They were absolutely horrendous. They were awful. And they should have spent more time on them. The visual effects just did not look good. It, like, the CW shows, like, the CW Flash has had better visual effects. Like, some of its worst is comparable to this movie. And that's not, that's not a good thing. That's definitely not a good thing. And, okay, another tick down off the film is just the screen time the character of Supergirl had. I thought Sasha Kaye, if given more screen time, would have probably been my favorite character. But she's only in the film for like five minutes. Is that, like, she's barely in the movie. And then I just was not a fan of the first or third acts of the film. The first act had so many moments that felt forced and were trying to be funny, just weren't. And for a lot of it, didn't really feel like a Flash movie until we get to the second act. Like, there's a few characters that appear in that first act that just kind of take away from the movie plus the visual effects in a lot of those scenes just did not work at all and the third act was just very messy and 
did not look good in any way, and they very they definitely underused Michael Shannon in this film. So overall, The Flash, it just fails to dis deliver a satisfying first act and third act. While I did thoroughly enjoy the second act, it had solid performances overall. The visual effects were downright awful. Like, absolutely horrendous visual effects. And the character of Supergirl had far less screen time than she truly deserved. So, with all of these aspects put together, The Flash, overall, is a 4 out of 10. Thanks for watching my video, and be sure to like, subscribe if you want, comment, and leave comments on any other movies I should review in the future. See ya.